Estamos listos. Sí, te meto. Soy americano. Quiero un de dinero. Everyone in their positions. Now. Position compromised, had to move. On your six, got you covered. He's fucking hurt bad. We gotta get him out. We gotta get him out. Benedict, this is Aguilar. I got the prize at the evac site. Listen to me, please. What? It's not secure. Turn it off. I need you to it's listen off. to me. It's off. It's about. It's about. But he says he can't. He's compromised. He can't. He can't get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Mitch, get up. Get up, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. We gotta get you out. Come on, Mitch. Get up. Get up, Mitch. Come on. on the way. We gotta make it to the landing zone. Let's move out. It's done. I'll tell our American contact. The threat has been neutralized.
touch my stuff. Stuff? What stuff? All you have in here is a shoebox in the closet. I looked in that the other day, and you know what I found? I know what's in the box. You have all of that stuff next to a dirty teddy bear. Works for me. Well, at least it works for one of us. You know what? This relationship sucks. You're a complete dick. You know what? I wanted to storm out of here, but I can't find my favorite goddamn pink probe. Where is it? I've met someone else. So much better than you. If you're coming back, can you bring a gallon of milk? That's one last Christmas card. Naval Covert Ops. Some candidates have to wait two years for this. You realize I can hear you, right? Two years. Just to petition and get consideration from the senator, and here we are, front of the line. Do you favor, Yates? Shut your I'm mouth. telling you, we are in rarefied air right now. You know, I'm just a little bit excited. Now, when the senator busts a lieutenant junior grade down to chief petty officer because he asked too many questions in the interview. Wait, what? The senator will see you now. Impressive, Lieutenant Vaughn. Letters of commendation, registered Republican, expert marksman, and bakes an excellent batch of fudge nut brownies. I don't think it says that. I'm joking, Lieutenant. Let me guess. You heard that I was a ball buster and thought that if you were quiet, you'd breeze through. You'll have to forgive my sense of humor. Have to have something to break up my day. Yes, ma'am. What are you laughing at, baby duck? Oh, nothing, sir. I mean, Don't yeah. sweat it, Yates. You weren't getting in anyway. Someone owed a favor from a congressional hearing, and you are just here to fill out the numbers. So glad I can help. So, Vaughn, what's the story? We're alone now, so you can skip the BS. Have a seat. Drink? It's 10.30. It's a late start in my line of work. Only reason I ask, you remind me of myself when I was your age. Ambitious, career-oriented, for women like us, it's got to come from somewhere. I have a little girl back home. How old? Ten. Her father? Not in the picture. Good. We didn't need him anyway. Congratulations. Dismissed. One more thing, Vaughn. If you find out about anyone fucking with my state, I'm the first one you tell. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Dad. On my way back. Just for a while. So DC is okay? Much can be expected. Don't care for it, really. I don't blame you, sweetie. I don't like D.C. myself. How much longer are you going to be gone? I managed to pull some strings, so I'll be in San Antonio for a while, and I don't come back. Amelia, darling, why don't you run and get your school stuff together? I'm thinking your mom can drop you off at school this morning. Dad, I actually don't have time right now. i got to head back in. I know you'd like to put all this shit to rest with your work and all, but think about what all you're missing out on. And you're not gonna get many second chances. Ready? Yeah. So you're taking me in today? Yeah. Nice change of pace. Have a good day at school, darling. Vaughn, Director Bob Walmack. This is Agent Leonard Golke. He'll be handling you for the duration of your stay. So, you're a real-life NCOC agent. I left D.C. to get away from people like you. You operating primarily out of D.C.? Anywhere the action is. 
Well, if you need anything, just let me know. I've been trying to get out of this turd central since forever. <laughs> no offense, Womack. None taken. It's quiet here. I like quiet. NCOC wants to dig up cold cases. Have at it. If I come out looking bad, it's your ass. With all due respect, sir, we can stop measuring dicks now. I need to find Sam Harrigan. Harrigan? He's that infamous. <laughs> He's starting off looking for trouble. Harrigan's a drunk, a disgrace to this country. You're wasting your time. And I won't be here long. This right here, the public safety personnel mm -hmm. thing. I don't know. Coffee. Play. Yeah. Run this guy through your database. See if you can find anything local on him. Contacts, last known addresses, anything. Who is he? Goes by the name of Wapo. <laughs> what does that mean? I live in Texas. You don't speak Spanish? I'm from Brooklyn. Handsome. You mean handsome. Yeah. My tail too. What's the word for ugly? It's fail. <laughs> Muy fail. that one. Now we make the LPG like that. Ah. It's like ah. the point of golf was to hit an exact target, Sam. Who says that I can't? Happy Vaughn, NCOC. You know, usually it's a bureaucrat in a polo shirt that comes to check on me. Guess we moved on to training bras. <laughs> <laughs> nice teddy bear. Don't judge him. This is a close personal friend of mine. That's disgusting. As much as I love hanging out with Ted and a burnout, I have something more important to talk to you about. What's that? What time door the Explorer comes on? I hear that swiper's a real Operation Shadowfire. Ronaldo Benitez. Supposedly, he's a really good friend of mine. What's the thing with you DC people? Let's take eight of you to get one answer. The answers are for Lieutenant Commander Aguilar's little girl. Well, I didn't realize Aguilar had a little girl. Or a wife for that matter. You disclose that to Benitez NCOC? Benitez killed eight special ops guys that night. A man named Wapo is one of his local associates. Since you are familiar with Benitez and Wapo, and since you prepped the Benitez op, is there anything I might yes! be missing? Yes! Common sense. First of all, Benitez is not a close personal friend of mine. Second, I'm not even operational. If you decide you are, do me a favor. Bathe. Otherwise, have a nice life. Vaughn, you there? This is Vaughn. I got some info on you. Answer, you guys. Waffle? Give me everything you got. Can I help you? I'd like to know where I can find John Stevens. 
Who? Waffle. Oh. Abby Vaughn, NCOC. Pleasure's all yours. I have a couple of questions about Ronaldo Benitez. I'm sure you do. You're looking for the big bad wolf. Let's say you cooperate and make this easy. Care for a drink? No thanks. Just trying to be a good host. I want Benitez. His operations, his associates. I'm not here for you, but I can make your life hell and run your business into the ground. That's the path you choose. Are you under the impression that that badge is sending shivers down my back? It should. <laughs> it doesn't. Chuko! You seem like a nice girl. <laughs> now, I see that you're just a ill-mannered little tart. <laughs> what a nice big gun you have. Poor little Red, out here on her own. You have no idea what you're asking for or who you're dealing with. See, out here in the real world, <laughs> this badge don't mean a hell of a lot. Out here, you're looking for the big bad wolf. Well, I'm one of the big bad wolves. Shoot her. Get rid of her. Bye, Candios, agent. You? I see you brought a friend. They're my South American business contacts. We heard there was trouble at the club tonight. Should I be worried? A guy on the inside will take care of it. So is it true? The Benitez cartel is back in business? And you're a fucking middleman? Yes. It's true. So soon, 
Southern United States will be like the wild, wild fucking West. And you'll get your product. But here's the problem. Benitez needs to know you're the type of guy we can do business with. No one has seen him in years. He has a reputation for being a bit skittish. Of course we can do business. You know, I would believe you. But when we arrange a meeting and you bring guests, it makes you unreliable. They've never even seen Benitez. And they never will. These are my business contacts. So get some new ones. Six days more. Last I checked, your end was $82.4 million. This is our coming out party, so don't even think about skipping out on the bill. If you do, I'll send Merrick here to pull the $82 million out of your ass. Guapo, Chico says the Morena got away. She has some wet of help on now. I thought you said your men could take care of this. Like that? I didn't want to shoot anybody today. Find out where she is. We don't need anybody sniffing around while this is going on. We need to set Senor Moore's mind at ease. Six days. I'm not playing. Who's clueless and awake? Let me ask you something. Are you even qualified to be in the field? A qualified expert marksman. It's different when the adrenaline kicks in. Lenny, this is Abby. We got him. Get Chico and Tino on the phone. Least I can do is buy you breakfast. Sorry, coffee. I'm grateful for last night. Mm. <laughs> you should be. I mean, what were you thinking engaging a player like John in his own backyard? You mean Wapo? How do you know his real name? I'm not operational. It doesn't mean I'm stupid. Guapo. We got him. Chuko and his men are moving into position now. Looks like another fed just rolled up too. Stop. Eat. I'm not hungry. Help yourself. Look, you got a local handler here, right? He's on his way. When he gets here, tell him you're in over your head. Get your ass back to DC. I know what I'm up against. <laughs> I'm sure that you do. I can handle myself. Maybe you can't. I think last night proved that. I need backup. I'll call for it. Somebody call for backup. Mm. Look at this son of a bitch here. Lenny Gawkey, we asked you to face Yeah, it. Larry. Why don't you sit down here with the uh, detective, and I'm going to go take a piss. <laughs> Bye, Larry. This guy is going to help us? Elite, huh? You don't get to that level and just forget everything. He'll come around. And if he doesn't? Then I will turn myself over to Benitez. Like I said, all of this evidence has been gone over at least a hundred times. What we need to do is find the one thing that they didn't see. One thing that just sort of jumps out at us. What was the elite unit after, other than isolating Benitez as a threat? You said Benedict worked with CIA and DEA. What kind of intel would make him want to risk being out I'm in the sorry, field? No. I don't know where your waitress is. I'm new, so I'm not really familiar with you. You guys want answers? It's simple. Find the one thing that's out of place, 
you work from there. Like this room, for example. What? Well, I've had to get my own coffee twice. Maybe they're just busy. Mm. No line cooks, genius. It could be outside. I haven't checked our table in 20 minutes. It could be you, Mr. Dingleberry. Tell you what, when I say go, you grab the princess here and you dust down the Whoa! Give me the phone. What? No! Thank you. Damn it, Sam! Call me! Why the hell did we just leave him there, Sam? Look, rule number one, kid, when you have a lead, you don't have it arrested. At least not yet, anyway. No, I told you. Intercept the keyhole signal, route through the DLSN network, and if you're lucky, the cops won't find you. I never said it was guaranteed. Yeah? Well, up yours. I'm not refunding your money. Sam, you couldn't have picked a worse time. Sorry about that. Ajax Abby Vaughn, Leonard Gawkey, NCOC. Covert Ops? I thought you were out. Need a face print. How much you got? Face needs a name, and we can talk price. Nice, Sam. Looking a little rusty. And puffy. Don't judge me. They local? Assuming. So, no Interpol. Let's try Texas and Mexico. Why do we need these guys? Because, Tata Head, the second she stepped into Guapos, they sent a hit squad after her twice. You don't do that unless you're close to... Ronaldo Benitez. Chuco and Tino, enforcers for Benitez. Moved here in 09, busted twice for trafficking, never convicted. I guess that's what happens when your prosecutors end up dead. No one's seen Benitez in over a year. It's because they're looking in the wrong places. Jazz here's gonna help us. What? So, does this mean I get a badge? What the hell is this? Whatever I need to get my job done. Director Wall Magnus. Sam Harrigan, sir, reporting for duty. I know who you are. I think I found a fan. Hi, whoever you are. I need everything you have on Guapo, Chuco, Tino. I pulled everything I could with SAPD, DEA, but I need your files and mugshots as well. Is there any coffee around here? Do you even want to know who she is? No, you don't. Does this have anything to do with Rodaldo Benitez? Need to know only, sir. What does my desk? Yes, sir. Elite was sent in to rescue Special Agent Pete Mitchell. Apparently had some intel on Benitez via his contact in Mexico. What was the intel? Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever it was, it was important enough to get Benedict out from behind a desk at Langley and back into the field. You prepped it? Yep. Then I got reassigned by Langley. Who was the agency's contact in Mexico? I don't know. Never met him. Sure was it him? So Benitez takes a CIA operative. Holds him hostage? Yep. Tortures the poor bastard for intel. Nobody's seen Benitez in over a year. Does it make sense for one of the largest cartel leaders to just vanish? <laughs> you tell me. I just work here. Everything on Wapun is meant locally. 
Thank you, Director Wormack. Sending over everything we can from the mainframe. Should be incoming now. Should go, Tino. No idea on her yet. Challenge accepted. Got confirmation. She's been seen with Wapo's men. DA seen her before, but they don't have a name. Always seems to just slip away. I say we stick on Chuko and Tino. We find her. Maybe she's the CIA contact you've been looking for, Sam. Where's Tweedledee? Where's Tweedlefuckstick? Well, no, I'll not keep going to park with you. Go ahead, Harrison. We are all set, Sam. I sure hope I'm right about this. What's the matter? You don't like to be wrong? Not particularly. Well, you're playing the hunch. You need to trust your gut more. If I did, you wouldn't be here. And like I said, you should trust your gut more. Lenny, pan your head around. And I'm looking for... Face recognition in this killer shade. You are welcome. Hey, can I borrow your phone? Who are you calling? Are you going through my phone? Are you going through my phone? Okay. One, it's called gathering intel. Two, yes, I am. Who is Amelia and why does she love you? Just give me the phone back, okay? Is this your daughter? Why didn't you respond back? Do you not love her? Phone. It's called field work, kid. Use what you can, where you can. Not that setup at the diner? That wasn't a setup. That was an ambush. You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean when you don't use the right words. Just use the right words. We'll be fine. Fine. Thank you. Besides, that all lined up too perfect. Well, waitress stopped coming around. Three guys out front made their move when I came back. Aren't those just random people? Well, well they were till they started shooting. You just want shit to be black and white, don't you? You're full of shit. No, I'm elite. Look at that. It actually has a smile. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anybody. Does Amelia know you can do that? All the things you learn coming out of the academy, Vaughn. Trust your instincts. How to read people. Situations. Okay, hold it. Got something. Yeah, got him. You're nine o'clock. Your other nine o'clock gump? Disco. Sam's sparring partner. Granted, his face felt beat to shit, but that's him. Sam, looks like we got more company from the west end of the park. You copy? Copy that, Jess. I see her. Face recognition only works on faces, asshole. Sam, she just slipped him a little envelope or something. Whatever it is, don't let him get rid of that envelope. You got it? I copy. Copy that, Harrison. Shit, okay guys, they're splitting up. What do we do? Harrigan. Yeah, go ahead. I'm closer to Beavis and Butthead. I'll take them. Copy. Roger that. You guys stay on Chuko. We got the Masota. <laughs> What's up with Tweedle Fuckstick over there? I need you to stay in the vehicle. Don't engage, don't do anything. Stay here. If I need your help, I'll call for backup. Sir, yes, sir. Here we go. Sam, we lost visual on the suspect. Lenny crossed over the fifth. I'm getting out to help. Do you read me? Sam, do you read me?
on the ground. Get down. <laughs> nice work, Lenny. Thanks. I had help. What do we have on him? Backgrounds are basic. Drug charges, domestic violence. Domestic violence. Hell, I like that one. When I get out of here, I'm going to come show you domestic violence. Make sure you bring a friend. Let Womack know we're coming in. I can take him in our unit. Sam! What? What the? Get him out. Jazz. So she handed him coordinates. I think we have something here. Three small border towns. These two came up in my research. Any connection? Not unless you consider the fact that the cows outnumber the people three to one. What about that one? Each one of those towns is five hours away from that one. <laughs> what are you, a geographer now? Yeah. I'm not bringing anything up on this town at all. I know the Spanish word for gateway is La Puerta. It's pretty thin, Sam. <laughs> Only one way to find out. You guys up for a road trip? We can be there in three hours. No, you need to get some rest. Plus, you got a little one to tuck in. Besides, it's thin, like you said. I'm sure the Wonder Twins can handle it. Do you think I can finally have a gun? No. no. So, you and Aguilar? It's not something I enjoy talking about. You ever tell you I saved his ass once? Yeah. You did. Something else I've been thinking about. <clears throat> it's your uh, candidate interview for the NCOC. Your relationship with Aguilar never came up? He's not on Amelia's birth certificate. We prefer to keep things private. So I was selective with the truth. Lied your ass off. Sam may have been right. Loaded something into those trucks and they headed back into the town. Amelia! Hello, darling. Welcome home. Please tell me you're back for good now. Not yet, kiddo. But I'd like you to meet a special friend of mine. This is Sam Harrigan. You're Lieutenant Aguilar's little girl, aren't you? Yes, sir. Did you know my dad? Yeah, he was a good man. Dad, this is Sam Harrigan. He's helping us out. Good to meet you, my friend. How you doing? Good, sir. Military man? Yes, sir. I can tell. I like him already, darling. Get your bag and come on inside. Oh, can I help with your stuff? Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, thank you. I got it. You don't ask me? See, Cafe. What are you doing? Just messing around. What time is that? Una troca llena viene a compartimento momentario. Entonces viene otra troca llena. What are they saying? I don't speak Spanish. You live in Texas and you don't speak Spanish? What's wrong with you people? I'm from Brooklyn. What laptop is this? What laptop? So 
I go outside, look around the side of the house, and there's my little girl. Looked like she was covered in mud, but I don't think that's what it was. <laughs> How old were you? Old well, not enough to know, know better. better. <laughs> I don't know if she's ever told you this or not, Sam. But Probably not. We lost her mom at a really young age. Dad. It's okay. He talks about Grandma a lot. I tried really hard, but bottom line is a little girl needs her mom. It's just that simple. We miss you. Sam, do you have kids? No. You are the closest thing I've seen to a kid in about five years. Other than yourself? Ooh. <laughs> Usually adults that reach the age of 23 are more in tune with their understanding of goals for a family. Wow. She is your daughter. <laughs> do me a favor. Don't be like mommy. I have another question for Sam. Hold on. Pardon me for a second. Here, pour me another round. Mm. Your dad drinks like a fucking seal. Would that be the bad asses or the fishes type? <laughs> Seals on fish, Dad. You need a toothpick, Sam? No. Um, I was moving your bag. And Honey. No, that's, that's fine. I think I'm just drunk enough. I saw this. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, oh, um, yeah. Now this. This is the receipt for uh, first dinner I ever bought a girl. Fort Bragg. The meal was good. Company, not so much. Was she boring? She tried cutting my food for me. <laughs> What's this? Oh, now this. This I don't show a lot of people. This is what we call a purple heart. And I got this for helping out a really good friend of mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to ask. Now this. <clears throat> you take a close look at this one. Because most people just see a, a ratty teddy bear, right? This was given to me by a boy named Imad. Imad was from a village outside Kandar. And we'd gone in there to clear out a spot where a lot of bad guys were. By the time we got there, bad guys had gone back up in the mountains. Imad was about six, and both of his parents were killed when those bad guys came into the village. Well, we dug in and waited for them to come back, and the whole time I sat there, Imad sat there. Now, like I said, I, I don't speak the language. I couldn't tell this kid to leave if I wanted to. He just sat there talking. What did he say? Like I said, I don't know. But he sat there just talking to me with that bear. And as we expected, the bad guys came back and a huge firefight broke out. And that was the first time I remember being concerned about more than just the guys in my unit. I mean, all I could think about was this little guy that I didn't even understand. Anyway, I'd lost him somewhere in that firefight I took shrapnel for covering him up. Airstrike came in, bombs went off. I had to fight my way through the smoke. And when it cleared, there was Imad with that teddy bear. He was dead? Mm -mm. <laughs> the little guy had to take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bombs and bullets going off everywhere, and this kid's only concern is, man, I gotta pee kind of puts everything in perspective for you. Anyway, we called in the uh, evac team, cleared the village, got Imad out. Before he got on the chopper, he came running over to me, gave me a big hug in this bear. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what he said. Didn't matter. All I knew is that I'd saved his life. And he was grateful. It was on that day that I decided i take a bear over metal any day. I tell you what, why don't you, uh, why don't you hold on to him? Maybe you can give him a better home than I can right now. You're a good man, Sam. Hey, Amelia, darling, 
Why don't you go get your stuff ready for bed, sweetheart? Before your mom gives us another lecture on rain life. <laughs> good night, Sam. Good night, sweetie. Get some rest. Good night. You're a good man, Sam. You know your dad drinks like a preacher. She needs her dad. Oh, she's pretty tough. She gets that from you. I don't see a girl that's wounded. I just see a kid who needs her mom. Anyone tell you you're an asshole? Only you. About every five seconds. Really good to see your guard come down tonight, kid. Just might have to trust you after all. Morning, sweetie. Hello. Nice shot. Thank you. Can I now? Told her she had to ask you first. Not right now, sweetie. But I'm older than you were. And again, don't be like me. Definitely don't want to be like your mother. It amazes me how much I can drink. Still come out here and be elite. This is how you qualify expert marksmen? You spend enough hours out here? Yeah. It's a little different when it's a real person shooting at you. <laughs> Tell you what, your turn. Really? Yeah, I want to see what an expert marksman looks like when it's not getting shot at. Go ahead and face your target, square your shoulders, don't forget to breathe. I got it, Sam. Main thing also, aim small, miss small. That's what they taught me. Sam. If you, well, if you aim for a smaller target. Thank you. Is she always like this? Sam. Why can't you shoot like that more often? Maybe I just need some sleep. Damn. You know, I'd say that's pretty elite, Sam. Don't. Don't even... Olivia! Answer that? Sure. Abby's answering service. Hello! What's up, Lenny? Yeah. Yeah, hold, hold on. You're not going to believe this. Little Border Town isn't much of a town at all. They use it as a drop point. Drugs? And everything else, there's a little refueling station they need to use on the stage. There's no cops, nothing at all. Anything else? Yeah, phone records. Only two numbers in the past two years. One is unknown, the other only started in the last six months. It's a payphone just outside this place. 
a hole in the wall hotel downtown. I was able to pull some, can you get those pictures up? Some screenshots from some of the street cameras in the area, ATM cameras as well. And look what we found. We thought it went into hiding. It's been under our noses the entire time. Get me a rate team. Now. Anything? Not a damn thing. No encrypted network, no signal. Bullshit. He's in there. I agree. with me? Clean shots, guys. Watch your backgrounds. You stay on my ass. No, you stay on my ass. This bastard's mine. I am done hiding. You get him on the phone now, do you understand me? Right now! It's not safe to come back yet. I'll tell you when it's safe. Fuck you! Business ran smooth because of me. Because of me, not you, not Guapo, me! Well, they caught our girl at the airport. They're bringing her around right now. You all right? Two and a half years. One tip later, we're walking through the right door at the right time. He's got his gun ready. How did he know we were coming? Ebony and I did. That's what you wanted, right? You and I want this to be right. I want to talk to her. You need to reset. She'll be there in a couple of hours. Better. 
Who is she? Mireya San Miguel. Mexican national. Aliases? Only one. Used often. Once a month, maybe more sometimes. Jazz, I want everything you can on that ID. Is it Maria? Or do you prefer your alias? Angelica Morales. Fucking celebrities. I'm gonna keep it simple. Am I ready to talk? Pena asked Benitez to the shotgun in the chest six hours ago. Great shot, by the way. Thanks. DC, Austin, Cleveland, Dallas, not flagged once. Mexico City. So if you're so good at hiding, how come we found you some shitty apartment using unencrypted public payphones to make contact? Good question. Are you going to kill me or not? Who? Who's they? Who are you? Is that they? <laughs> is this they? No, that. that's you. There's Benitez. Oh, there's the a yourself. bunch of dead you're people, yourself. okay? I want to know what you, you were doing. Know, Eight of my friends are dead because of people yet. like they you. Don't care. Tell me. Oh, what? There's a new jail. Oops, Abby. Shut up, Sam. Okay. You think this is a game? Do you think we're here to kill you? You might be right. I'm not afraid of you. Are you still ready to die? I got Benitez today. You want celebrities? I'm a fucking rock star now. You were supposed to kill us both. Who wanted you dead? Wapo? Wapo's no one. Think about it. Who has the power to keep me under his radar until he wants me killed? We would get plates as minute one. What are you talking about? Think about it. Where did we get the tip from? Cephal Records. It was the wiretap. No. Who gave us the tip? Woman. Lenny. I need to ask the cross reference Walmart records with Maria or her alias. Some of this looks classified, but not for long. Here we go. Passport. Minute two years ago. Under a project supervised by Womack's office. Something called Project Sleeping Beauty. Jazz, I want to know who prepped that motherfucker. Who's involved with Sleeping Beauty? I want rosters. Everything you got. Out of commission since 91. Started up again eight years ago. And took out several cartels. While as director in Washington, Womack answered directly to the CIA, specifically William Benedict. You stay with me, you 
son of a bitch! Abby, he's going. Abby! Yeah, baby, they got Womack. I think they're trying to lose it. They got the girl, too. They knew exactly where to hit us, Sam. Amelia! Abby! Every available unit to that house. Do you understand me? Call Castro PD. You call Bear County. I don't give a shit. Everyone, now! I never wanted to be a mom. I, I hated him for so long for doing that to me. <laughs> I never asked for Amelia.
last Christmas card. We're alone. Womack's dead. It's Benedict, isn't it? It's business. Benedict had the elite team killed. No. <laughs> he led him into an ambush. There's a... There's a... Ah! Ah! Stop it! Ah, you like that, you motherfucker? Ah, bully! Stop! Stop! Ah, stop. Ah, fuck. Talk. Benitez was a code name. A myth the CIA made up to, to privately finance the drug trade. Benedict got wind of it, sent it his own guy as Benitez. The CIA sent in Mitchell to stop him. He went to Mexico to see for himself. So that's why Benedict piggybacked Shadowfire. Benedict had to make sure he pulled the trigger himself. He's had his, his decoy on the run ever since, as a distraction. From? You don't fucking know. Tell me now! Say good morning! Say good morning! He needs help on across the border, like a senator who looks the other way. He took the girl. He took the girl. So, so Mora went back out on the deal, okay? You get me a map. I can show you. Just stop. Just stop. Please. According to Guapo, a big-time dealer from overseas named Mora is coming in to meet with Benedict. Was there any chance Guapo lied to you? If he did, I'd go back and break his other arm. They think if Mora has Amelia, they will back down. We won't risk an all-out assault, and they'll have time to complete their deal. So we got to strike fast. Now, the drop is taking place at a warehouse just outside the city. Any communications I need to worry about? Funds are being transferred from our friend Senator Warren via a small portable terminal. And those funds are in offshore accounts. The transfer's initiated once more gets that code to Benedict. Jazz, if you can intercept a signal of the wire transfer, we can trace the accounts back to her. As long as I can hardwire into their lines, I can get it. I got you. No worries. Benedict's play from day one's been the money. He considers it retirement for serving his country. Once the transfer's complete, he's a ghost. He's only coming up this one time. So if we don't get him here, he's gone. You didn't want your dinner? You killed my grandfather. Hmm. Actually, that was Mr. Merrick. I was responsible for your father's death, if that's any consolation. Just so you know, this isn't personal. I mean, it wasn't even my idea to take you. But I have some friends coming in from overseas who would be a little nervous if they knew that your mother and Sam were out there running around acting like assholes. So, you are my insurance policy. Trust me, when this is all over, you can go. My mom's gonna fucking bury you. You'll be kissing your father again real soon with that mouth, sweetie. Everyone keep your eyes open and keep coverage on the girl. Benedict, everything looks good. Senor Mora, 
man of your word, Benitez. Oh, now that we're face to face, we can dispense with the Benitez bullshit. We're done playing games now that you and I are such good friends. Come on, follow me. Can you check for movement? You're clear. How's it look? You're clear. All the way up to the third this. floor. Jazz, you keep moving every 60 seconds, you hear? Got it, Sam. Just watch your asses. The senator sends her best. She's a team player. She agrees to stay out of our way, and in return, we feed her any cartels we need out of the way. <laughs> That's how you get to look tough on crime. That's how you win elections. Sam, I've started the trace. Transfer's initiated. Be aware, we've got movement on the door sensor. Check out with corner three, the north and the right of the Bravo three, check south terminal two, and lost signal. Is everything good? Lock down the compound, secure the girl, we've got company. The girl's your insurance. Take me to her. Oh, gotta go! Bravo 2, Bravo 2, move to go to Southwest. Four more and Bravo 2. Shit! Come on, man, they told us to watch out for her. Oh, I know. Come on. Long time no see. You sound pretty good for a dead guy, Benedict. That's the beauty of the plan, Sam. What did I always teach you? Live in the gray. Yeah, I tried that for a little bit. Didn't quite suit me. Of course not. You're a soldier. Soldiers need wars to fight. It's much less complicated that way. You and the senator are going down. <laughs> oh, Quapo. He talked that son of a bitch, didn't he? Where is she? Hmm. Maybe she's with Aguilar. I don't know. <sighs> you know Merrick, Sam? Yeah, he's a lot like you were. Just doesn't ask nearly as many questions. Amelia's gonna stay with me and my friend Mora for a little while. Make sure we can do business properly. Make it quick. Sam? I got this.
Shooter! It's okay, baby. Mom is here. Drop this. Abby, we were able to intercept the transfer. One hundred percent complete. Hmm. Jazz, run away out. So, Copy that. What's next? Senator Warren wanted me to let her know if I found anyone messing with her state. I'm a woman of my word. I've noticed. I'm elite. Yeah, you sure are. <laughs> Don't move, bitch. Abby, look at what you've done. It's just like a woman, isn't it? You got everyone around you killed. You couldn't stop me if you tried. You're not even qualified to be out here, you stupid bitch! You had to stick your nose where it didn't belong. Into my life's work. For what? For who? For my daughter, you son of a bitch.
Excuse me? I'll call you back. Can I help you? Yes, Senator, you can. Abby Vaughn, NCOC. But you already knew that. Senator Warren, you are under arrest for obstruction of justice against a federal agency, providing material support to a terrorist organization, attempt to commit acts of terrorism against the United States, and conspiracy to commit murder. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present. If you so desire, you can have him present during the question. You trying to make a name for yourself, Vaughn? No, ma'am. You told me if I found anyone fucking with your state to let you know first. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one can be appointed to you by the courts. You can stop this question at any time. There are so many things we left unsaid, Sam. I know you're in a better place now. Neither one of us would have said this face to face, but I just want to thank you. Thank you for giving me my life back. You'd be happy to know that upon my return to DC, I was asked by NCOC to head up my own Naval Investigations Unit. I accepted, with Linny as my second in command. It wouldn't have felt right without Jazz, so I blame you for that. And it doesn't feel right without you here. You should consider coming back, Sam. It won't be the same without you. By the time you read this letter, though, Amelia and I will be gone. Not for good, just for a little mother-daughter time. She's earned whatever it is I have left to give. And you, you've earned your rest. You can rest easy knowing that your family is safe, and it's all because of you. Families fight for one another no matter the badges on our arms. Thank you, Sam. Your family will miss you. And I guess that's one more Christmas card you'll have to write. Thank you.